In this video, I'm showing you how to download OBS Studio and then go and install it. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit the subscribe button. And once you have subscribed, please go and leave a like as well. So a quick note, OBS Studio is a sub-program of OBS. OBS created this and a more recent version of OBS is OBS Studio. So without any further ado, let's go and jump straight into this video. Now without any further ado, let's go and jump into this. What we want to do is go and open up a search browser because we need to go and download OBS, specifically OBS Studio. So let's go and open up Google Chrome, which I am using for this tutorial. And all you want to do is simply search for OBS project, just like so. Then it's going to take you to obsproject.com, click there, and here we are on the website. As you can see, OBS Studio, Windows, Mac, and Linux. Now do continue watching as I'm showing you the full install process and also the basic settings to go and get yourself going. So what we want to do is go and click on Windows and then it's gonna go and start the download. Now the speed of the download will depend on how fast your internet is, but as you can see here it is. So what I'm gonna do is now click on it and you're probably gonna get a Windows Cootie pop-up, which my computer doesn't record, and then you're gonna go and get the setup menu here. As you can see, here it is, and you wanna go through it just like your normal installation, so click next. And what you need to do is go and install OBS just like any other program. Now, unfortunately, I can't screen record myself installing it, but it's a very, very simple process. You may have to download some additional components to allow for screen recording, but it should do it itself mostly. And then all you want to do is go and launch OBS Studio, and we're just running through all the settings. So click finish and hopefully it's now going to launch itself. So it's now going to launch itself and here we are. So I'm going to be running through everything you need to do. So the first you want to do is come down to the scenes and click the plus and you want to go and name this anything you want. So I could name this like um, rec example, just like so. And once you've made the scene, click on it and then come to sources. Then go and click the plus button again and you want to go and click on display capture or any of these you like. You could do game capture, on display capture and then click OK. And then you can go and choose the monitor you want to do it on. So I'm going to do my second monitor, as you can see. There we go. You can then see what you're going to be recording. Now I want to go and show you the key settings. So come to the right and you've got your settings option here. So in this video, I'll be showing you the more recording settings. So if you're interested in streaming, then I recommend checking out another video. I'll try and make one very soon and hopefully um, that'll be on my channel. So what we want to do is come to your settings. Now general is mainly up to you. So that's up to you there. Stream, this is if you're going to be streaming. Um, so let's come to output. Then you've got the streaming tab here. You've got recording, audio and replay buffer. So you wanna make sure your output mode is on advanced. You get way more options and you can basically optimize your recording more and streaming more. So I'm gonna to come to recording and show you my current settings, although they are quite similar for recording and streaming. So the recording path is up to you. I personally recorded MP4. I find it the easiest to edit in. For the encoder, it's probably gonna be on X264. I do recommend using the NVIDIA NVEC if you have that. Um, I think you may need an NVIDIA graphics card though. So, but uh, I recommend having that if possible. Then for rate control, make sure it's on CBR, which stands for constant bit rate. And now the bit rate is up, gonna be up to you. Basically 15,000 works well for my computer, but I believe if you have a bit of a slower computer, um, then try lowering it. So if you get lag in the recording, then just lower this down. So you could try 10,000, 5,000 um, and see which works best for you. Now for present, I have it on quality. Um, so that's really up to you to change as well. And then I have these two checkboxes clicked and I recommend having the GPU on zero and the max B frames on two. Like I said before, these settings are gonna be up to you. So just see what works best for your computer. Then for audio, let's go and jump into this. So make sure you have your microphone selected and your desktop audio if you wanna record it. Um, you can change it by clicking there and it lists all the microphones. Then come to video. Now here you can go and change your resolution. So the output scaled resolution is the most important one as that's what's actually gonna be recorded. So if your computer struggles to record 1080p, just change it down to 720. As you can see, 1280 by 720. And also for the downscale filter, this doesn't need to be on sharp and scaling. Honestly, bicubic's fine. Um, it still looks fairly crisp, but I try and have 36 just to make everything a bit clearer in these tutorials. For the FPS, I have mine on 60 as well, just to make it a bit smoother, but 30 is absolutely fine and a lot of people have it on 30. Um, I actually upload in 30 FPS by recording 60. For hotkeys, these are fully up to you. You can set certain buttons to start recording and stop recording, which can be really useful. And I know some people um, find that really useful to have really. Now for advanced, these are basically what I've sort of messed around with. So for the process um, priority, I have it on normal. You could make it above normal, but then that's gonna affect um, other performances on your computer. So if you're recording a game, that game may slow down because you've got um, OBS as a higher process priority. For the renderer, I use Direct3D11. There isn't seem to be another option for me. And for color format, I use NV12. You could try RGB, but personally I find um, NV12 absolutely fine. 
then the rest of this is fairly up to you really. You can try the different colors, but that's pretty much it. And then all you need to do is click apply and click OK, and then you're ready to go and start recording. And then it's gonna go and save it where you designated it to um, in the recording file path. If you found this video useful, please go down below and hit the subscribe button. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.